today I'm going to be doing a Kelly and Taylor inspired look from Beverly Hills 90210, one of my favorite shows. I absolutely love Kelly. She's so pretty. She's played by the beautiful Jenny Garth. I just loved her very simple makeup look. It's very classic and timeless. And I am going to be doing the makeup look that she wore more towards the later seasons, like 8, 9, and 10. It was just very matte, like all matte, and super 90s. Sorry, I guess that's something in my eye. Uh, so I can't wait to do this. Of course, like if you want to see from the earlier seasons, I'll probably put another clip of me styling my hair, but it's not going to look as similar because she is a blonde, but I will probably show you guys the flared bangs and all that after I do my makeup real quick. But for now, I'm just going to stick to the blonde cute haircut that she had in season 10 with the highlights when the show is filmed in like 1999 and 2000. So let's get started on this makeup look. So what I'm going to do is take my Wet n Wild foundation and I'm going to mix it with my other Wet n Wild foundation. This one's a lot lighter. Kelly is very uh, pale, but my I'm not super pale. Like my shoulders are a little tan from the summer. I'm not getting tans. I don't know how I'm staying indoors, but I still get a little tan. So I'm just going to mix the two. This is like my exact shade right here. But I'm all, I'm also like running out of this stuff. Like, look, <laughs> that's it. That's all it goes. I need to repurchase another one. So I do have a few other tutorials. I did one on Donna and also on Valerie Malone. See, mixing those two foundations doesn't make me look too crazy. Of course, we're gonna add color to our face. But yeah, I want to know who was you guys' favorite character. I think I mentioned before that Donna is my favorite character. I just think that she's so sweet and she was just like the most humble of all the girls. And she didn't do th too many crazy things, I would say. So um, I would have to say Donna. I really liked Brenda too, but she like got kicked off the show so quick. I don't know the story behind that. I heard that maybe um, she didn't get along with a lot of the actresses, but I, I really, I really don't know. Now I'm just going to take some concealer because Kelly does not have dark circles. And this is just the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, nothing fancy. So now I'm just going to set my face with this airspun powder. I love this stuff. It's my favorite. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Now that I'm all baked, what I'm going to do is I noticed throughout the season they did a very natural, classic matte, neutral toned eyeshadow look on Kelly and it always just kind of got a little deeper towards the end of the season series actually. So what I'm going to be using is the James Charles palette. I feel like this has every color in it so I'm not going to be switching from all these different types of palettes. I know that kind of annoys people so I'm just going to keep it with one palette. And the first shade I'm going to be using is this one right here. I don't know the shade names by heart but if you have the James Charles palette then you know but it's just a neutral shade right here and I'm actually gonna mix it with the white so just because she is pale and that's going to give us a very matte lid now I do have a little bit more space than Kelly does on my eyes but this isn't a transformation I'm not going to transform myself into Kelly I am just doing the makeup just make sure that this area is nice and bright so 
Something I also noticed is the makeup artist comes out and does like a curved upwards motion on Kelly. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to take this shade right here before we deepen it up a bit. And if you don't know how to do a good crease, you can always use your curling lash curler to help you. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So in this case, it curves this way. So curve the eyelash curler like this. And this is just going to help you get that perfect crease. Just like that. He had it curved or whoever it was in an upwards motion. And then we're just going to fill it out. See how it's perfectly like that. Of course, we're going to go in with that white so we don't lose that shade right there. I just want there to be a prominent difference. We're going to take this shade right here, and that's when we're, what we're going to use to blend. Don't take too much because this palette is very pigmented, you guys. Now, I did notice that they put a little bit of inner corner highlight, so we're going to take this shade right here and pop that inner corner highlight. And one of the last things we're going to do is take a brown eyeliner and we're going to line the outside down here. Just like that. It makes the blue eyes pop. And that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow part. I love that James Charles palette. It's actually not mine, it's my sister's. I think that's the best part about having sisters is you guys can borrow palettes. I love the way this looks. It's very 90s. I have a lot more lid space than Kelly's, so it looks like I have a lot more makeup on, but I don't. I am actually looking at a picture of her, and it looks in very, very similar, except her eyes are more, more hooded. So just imagine more hooded eyes, and then it would look very similar. Now she has really great lashes, so I want to emphasize that. I am going to be using the Grande Cosmetics Primer, and this is uh, this will be plumping my lashes, then topping it off with the Grande Drama Intensifying Mascara. This is probably my favorite mascara for bold lashes. Then we'll move on to the face and end with the lips. Okay, like I said, first we're going to go in with the primer. I don't think any of the girls use falsies at all, so I think they just had a really good mascara. So that's why I'm putting a primer on because I just feel like my lashes without a primer don't pop. Now this part is completely unnecessary, but I'm going to add some freckles to my nose because I feel like if you look really closely at Kelly, she does have those freckles. So I'm going to add just a little bit, like it's not going to be crazy, just like very little bit and pat those in. I just feel like she has freckles on her nose. Okay, so you can barely tell which is why I like it, but 
that's all I added and I'm going to take my blush and this is called Peachy Keen by MAC just right here kind of where you smile just on the apples of the cheeks not too crazy she doesn't wear as much blush as Donna did or Valerie she definitely goes more on the eyes than the face Now I'm just going to take some setting spray. Okay, now last, lastly the lips. She does two different types of lips. She does a brown lip and also a terracotta type of lip. So I am taking Ginger by Kylie Cosmetics. Not overlining, maybe just a little bit um, to get her lip shape. Like that. It is a very prominent Cupid's bow. Then we're going to take a little bit of 1995 by Gerard Cosmetics. And this is the look. Another choice you can make is a brown color for the lips because she did wear brown lipstick throughout almost all of season 10. So I'm going to be using the NYX color in, it's called Peel, like this. So that is it for this Kelly Taylor inspired makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed this and comment down below which nostalgic look you would like to see next. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.